Welcome, my dear students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. It's a brand new day and a brand new chance to learn. I am Teacher Christian who will teach and help you develop your knowledge and skills in technology and livelihood education. So bring out your pen, paper, and self-learning modules, and let's be techy as we explore the world of information and communication technology. So what are you waiting for? Let's begin our ICT journey. Sit back, relax, and lend me your ears. Then prepare your heart to listen as we familiarize ourselves with computer peripherals, devices, systems in accordance with established procedures on correct operation and safety. But before we start, let's have a game. Write five devices that you can find inside the computer room. I'm giving you 10 seconds to write your answer in your TL notebook. Timer starts now. Time's up. If you can see your answers on the screen, then you got it right. Those are all examples of computer peripherals. A peripheral device is generally defined as an auxiliary device such as computer mouse or keyboard that connects and works with the computer in some way. Other examples of peripherals are image scanners, microphones, loudspeakers, webcams, and digital cameras. Did you know that there are different types of computer devices? These are input, output, and storage devices. Input devices are used to interact with or send data to the computer. Keyboard entry and direct entry are the two types of input devices. Keyboard entry. Data is inputted to the computer through a keyboard. A keyboard is the first input device developed for the PC. It is used to enter characters and functions into the computer system by pressing buttons or keys. Direct Entry is a form of input device that does not require data to be entered by someone sitting at a keyboard. Direct Entry devices create machine-readable data on paper or magnetic media or feed it directly into the computer CPU. There are three categories of direct entry devices. One, we have pointing devices, an input device used to move the pointer on the screen. Examples of this are mouse, the most common pointing device used in PCs. Every mouse has two buttons and most have one or two scroll wheels. Another example of pointing device is the touch screen. A display screen that is sensitive to the touch of a finger or stylus, used in myriad applications including ATM machines, retail point-of-sale terminals, car navigation, and industrial controls. Light pen, a light-sensitive stylus wired to a video terminal used to draw pictures or select menu options. The user brings the pen to the desired point on the screen and presses the pen button to make contact. And lastly, digitizer tablet, a graphics drawing tablet used for sketching new images or tracing old ones. Also called a graphics tablet, the user contacts the surface of the device with a wired or wireless pen or pop. Another category of direct entry devices, we have scanning devices. A device that can read text or illustrations printed on paper and translate the information into a form the computer can use. Examples are barcode reader and image scanner. Next, we have the voice input devices, which considered the third category of direct entry devices. 
which are audio input devices, also known as speech or voice recognition systems, that allow a user to send audio signals to a computer for processing, recording, or carrying out commands. Now that we know all input devices, let's take a look at output devices. An output device provides an output to the user from the computer. Have you tried to visit and look around at your computer laboratory? Did you find any output devices there? Now, I'm giving you 5 seconds to remember all those output devices. Write all your answers in your TLE notebook. Your timer starts now. Okay, time's up. What output devices have you remembered that can be found in your computer laboratory? Have you seen a monitor, an LCD projector, or a smart board? Or how about printer and speaker? If your answer is close to the same, then you're performing well. Those are all examples of output devices. Computer Display Monitor displays information in visual form using text and graphics. The portion of the monitor that displays the information is called the screen or video display terminal. There are three types of monitor. We have the CRT monitors or cathode ray tubes, where the only type of displays for use with desktop PCs. They are relatively big and heavy. Another is the LCD monitors. Liquid crystal display technology that has been used in laptops for some time. It has recently been made commercially available as monitors for desktop PCs. Lastly, we have the LED monitors or light emitting diode, a display in lighting technology used in almost every electrical and electronic product on the market, from a tiny on and off light to digital red house, flashlights, traffic lights, and perimeter lighting. Other example of output devices is the LCD projectors, which utilizes two sheets of polarizing material with a liquid crystal solution between them. An electric current passed through the liquid causes the crystals to align so that light cannot pass through them. Next in line is the smart board, a type of display screen that has attached sensitive transparent panel covering the screen which is similar to a touch screen. Another familiar output device which is commonly used by the students to print the research paper and other printer related work is the printer which prints text or illustration on paper. Printer has five types namely ink jet or bubble jet printer which is paste ink at a sheet of paper. Inkjet printers produce high-quality text and graphics. We also have the laser printer, which uses the same technology as copy machines. Laser printers produce very high-quality text and graphics. LCD and LED printer Similar to a laser printer but uses liquid crystals or light emitting diodes rather than a laser to produce an image on the drum. Line printer It contains a chain of characters or pins that print an entire line at one time. Line printers are very fast but produce low quality print.
Lastly is the Thermal Printer, an inexpensive printer that works by pushing heated pins against heat-sensitive paper. Thermal printers are widely used in calculators and fax machines. How about an output device that is used to play sound? Yes, you got it right, it's a speaker. It allows you to listen to music and hear sound effects from your computer. They may be built into the system unit or connected with cables. So where do you save the music you play? Storage devices. Wow, that was impressive. Storage device stores data priced by the computer in a permanent or semi-permanent form. It stores documents, videos, music, and many others. Here are the types of storage devices. Fluffy Diskit is a random access, removable data storage medium that can be used with personal computers. The term usually refers to the magnetic medium housed in a rigid plastic cartridge measuring 3.5 inches square and about 2 millimeters thick. Compact Disk also called optical disc, is a non-magnetic polished metal disc used to store digital information. The disc is read by the CD. Digital Versatile Disc, an optical disc technology with a 4.7 GB storage capacity on a single-sided, one-layer disc which is enough for a 133-minute movie. Jump Drive and USB Flash Drive It's a plug-and-play portable storage device that uses flash memory and it is lightweight enough to attach to a keychain. A USB drive can be used in place of a fluffy disc, seat drive disc, or CD. Hard drive is the main and usually largest data storage device in a computer. The operating system, software titles, and most other files are stored in a hard disk drive. LS120 is a drive which supports a special floppy disk which can store up to 120 MB of information as well as being backwards compatible and still supporting the standard 1.44 MB floppy disk kit. Zip Drive is a small portable disk drive used primarily for backing up and archiving personal computer files. Now that we learn different computer devices, classify the following computer peripherals by writing IV for input device, OD for output device, and SD for storage device. Write your answers in your TL notebook. Number 1. Speaker The answer is OD. It is an output device. Number 2. Floppy Disket The answer is SD. It is storage device. Number 3. Light pen. The answer is IT. It is an output device. Number 4. Digital versatile disc or DVD. The answer is SD, it is storage device. 
Number 5, Touch Screen. The answer is IT. It is an input device. Let's have the summative evaluation. Did you pass the test, learners? Amazing! Congratulations! Always remember that technology is created to make our lives easier and make us become productive in our daily lives. I hope you had fun and enjoyed studying computer system servicing computer peripherals. Have fun! Once again, I'm your techie teacher, Sir Christian, saying successful life can be achieved through proper knowledge and skills here at Technology and Livelihood Education.